Wojciech and I want to talk to you about animations in React Native. React Native is becoming more and more popular. Especially, a lot of early stage startups choose it as the platform of choice for developing their mobile applications. They do it mainly because of two reasons. One, it offers them a possibility to deliver a cross-platform mobile application for both iOS and Android uh, using a single code base. And the second reason is that they can use their existing team of developers to do so. Most of modern developers know JavaScript to some degree. However, in practice, this might get a little bit tricky. Mobile applications user experience is based not only on how it looks and what features it contains. A large part of it is based on how it, the application feels to the user. Developers who don't have much previous mobile experience tend to miss that part. One of the important parts of this feeling of proper responsiveness are animations. We use them to give feedback to the users about the actions they performed and help them intuitively grasp what's, what's going on. Fortunately, React Native offers easy ways to introduce animations into your application. In this series of videos, I will go through a few of them and show you how to add them to a real-world application. Enjoy! So here we have a real-world application. 90% of the job of a mobile developer is just fetching data and displaying it as a list. So here we have a list of messages from Samuel Jackson. We can expand and collapse the, the messages. Uh, we can scroll through them. And what we'll also try to implement here is we want to be able to slide them to the right to delete them, remove them from the list. And after we start deleting them, we're gonna use the reload data button to, to bring them back. Let's start with the first thing. As you see, when you expand and collapse this, the details of the message, it's an instant change. It's just a toggle on or off. And what we would like to have here is some kind of more visual feedback, what's going on, like the, the message is opening or, or it's closing. Fortunately, those kind of state changes for, of a component are very easy to animate in React Native. What we have to do in this case is we have to use the component will update a callback and would use the layout animation API. And this will tell us to, on the com next component update, we're gonna use the predefined, the preset spring animation to animate the, the state change. So let's save it and see what happens here. You see, the message is open with a spring at the end. So there's a little bit of, uh, of extra, extra tag. It's an, it's an interesting effect, but we might not like it. We have still some control over what kind of animation to use, especially if we use a configuration object that we can pass to the uh, layout animation. We tell him to use this configuration object and there we can set the duration of let's say 750 milliseconds. And we have to tell what kind of transition to we're expecting. Because we can have different animations for creating a component where we introduce a new component that hasn't been displayed before or deleting or here in this case we're updating a component it's it already existed we're just changing data that it's displayed so for example we can change the animation to type linear and this as you see it slowly opens up and down we can speed it up or slow it down using the duration we can do easing animations where they slow down or at the at the end they are kind of like linear it doesn't have this springy feeling like the spring animation but what i wanted to also show you is that some of those um, animations have extra parameters that we can uh, that we can pass in our case we we might want to make this spring animation a bit more springy you see it jumps a bit more. For my taste, it's a bit too much. So we can try something from the other end of the spectrum. And 
here you can see that it it barely moves at the end uh, it's a bit too static let's go with 0 0.6 and i think it's an interesting effect okay so what we just did is we managed to change the way the stage change is being animated from a simple toggle that displays or doesn't display data to, to have it dynamically open and close. This was very easy. We used the layout animation API. Note that we didn't touch any, any of the JSX code that, that we render, the, any of the, the component um, elements. And so it was just a configuration change. In the next video, what we're gonna try to do is introduce a functionality where we can slide uh, a message to the right out of the screen and, and then delete it. See you next time.